Mashy, mashy Ferguson Mr. Gold Wheels and a mighty grin Will always be right there to lend a hand If you see him passing by the road Keep your hat and say hello To the greatest little trapper in the land Mashy and Gracie were helping Tom take some food to the new shop in an island called Bruni Island. None of them have been there before, let alone knew it existed. It never had a striving its roots, said Mashy, except Fred's been there. He's been visiting the shed in the middle part of the island where a female fairy rested, said Tom. He just radioed me to say he's discovered another centre door car, which is a purple one. We'll have a look when we finish the delivery. Another Model T, said Gracie. How did you know, Gracie? We met our mate, that's a black centre door car. Come on now, you Fee, don't miss the boat, said Fee, who came out of the house. Oh yeah, right, Model T talks distracting us, said Tom. The machine set off to find Booney Island. Fred was waiting for them at the wharf. They boarded him, and he took them to the other wharf. Welcome to Bruni Island, Mashin Gracie. You haven't driven its roads before, said Fred. You might deliver the food to the shop in the town. Jenny Wakeman has something to show you. She's got something to show us said Massey, will not make a wild guess. You'll find her by the middle shed. She hidden it somewhere. Massey, Gracie and Tom drove towards the middle woodland of the island. But when they got to the shed, Jenny was nowhere to be seen. Jenny! Are you there? The machines called. But there was no reply. Then, very slowly, the shed doors opened up. Hello? said Massey nervously. Hello? said a little car looking back at them. Oh, uh, hello, said Massey. Who are you? And what time do you call this? You're late, said the car. I'm Massey, and this is Gracie. We're from New Zealand, and Tom's from Spring Hill Farm. We always come on time, said Massey, slightly hurt. We left Forest Hill Farm ages ago. Why, who are you? Me? I'm Coco, and I've been waiting for someone to come and find me in this shed for years, said the car. Oh, said Gracie, confused. What are you doing in the woodlands of Booney Island? He parked her one snowy night many years ago, after arriving on the 6th of February, 1900, said Jenny popping out from behind Coco, but the next morning he couldn't get started. 
everyone forgot he was here. Until I found him, gave him a polish, and gave him petrol. Oh, said Tom. That's right. One hundred and nineteen years stuck in this shed. On my own, except the robot that helped me, said Coco. Now the easy thing to do is start his engine, said Jenny. So he gave it a try. Oh. place to live in, said Coco. You might stay with us. It's the afternoon and it's a long drive to get you to a working place, said Massey. They left Booney Island and headed back to Fred, taking them back to Snug. Has much changed at the Cadbury Chocolate Factory? asked Coco. I wanted to be in the country where it's peaceful. I remember seeing the Federation Chocolate Factory when visiting Remarkable Cave, said Massey. But I don't know about the town one that snarled. Well, there were two motor cars that are not like me, and they weren't friendly. I knew I had to leave, so went to Booney Island to find a job, said Coco. How they never knew I was liking to be in the country. I'm sure you'll find one not so noisy, said Gracie. We're going to Wedge Avenue, so we can take you to the Federation Chocolate Factory. I wonder what they're doing at Wedge Avenue. Massey, Massey Ferguson, with the gold wheels and a mighty grin, will always be right there to lend a hand. If you see him passing by the road, keep your hat and say hello to the greatest little tractor in the land.